Hey there, welcome back to Wendy's Way. Let's see what kind of journey we've got on the horizon today. So hello and welcome back to Wendy's Way. I know typically there are a lot of things in the world that people have polar opinions about. You either love them or you hate them. And I'm curious whether grits make that list for you. Do you love them or do you hate them? This is the very first time I've made grits for one. <laughs> and, you know, it's just part of that learning curve. So I'm going to show you what I do. You know, I've just cut my measurements in half, which works just great for me. I do use the Quaker Instant Grits. Quick Grits, sorry, five minute Quick Grits. And obviously, I'm not sponsored by anyone or anything that you see in this video. But I start by putting my pan, and yeah, I need to invest in a smaller saucepan, on the smallest burner on my stove. Because some of these other burners, you know, they're just too much. They can overwhelm a small amount of food or anything that may have dairy in it that might burn real fast. But anyhow, I have put two cups of water in my saucepan. I put a healthy pinch of salt because I don't really think it makes it taste salty. I think when you cook with salt, it simply enhances the flavor of whatever you're cooking. So I've got two cups of water a healthy pinch of pink Himalayan salt, just because that's how I roll. I'm going to put in a heaping half cup of quick grits. And I will turn it on low. And chances are, I'll have to stir it constantly once it starts, you know, cooking. Because otherwise it'll stick, even on the lowest setting, on the smallest binner burner excuse me and as you can see there is parmesan cheese there but that's for later so i'll come back after the water's boiling i throw in the grits and i'll show you how i take it from here as you can see even on the lowest setting of the smallest burner on my cooktop boiling is almost immediate when you have just a small amount and obviously it's a very small amount for this size of a pan. So I'll be here. I mean, and it took like maybe three, four minutes for the water to boil. I turned it clear down. And I'll be here standing and stirring for a while. I'll uh, check out my clock and see if I can't, you know, get a, an approximate time on it. And then I'll be back. All right, it's only been two minutes since I started stirring and it started boiling. And it's at this point, you can see it's thickening. It's not quite as thick as I like it, but I need to turn it off because it's going to start burning if I don't. And it will continue to thicken on the cooktop. I just let it sit for a few minutes and so yeah I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna throw in some Parmesan actually I'll probably just throw the Parmesan in now and let it sit on top I'll stir it in in a few minutes I like a lot of Parmesan in my grits <laughs> Oh, it just gives it such an awesome flavor. See, when I eat grits, it's a complete meal. I don't often serve it as a side dish, which I know is quite frequent, especially in southern kitchens. And when I eat at Cracker Barrel, grits is often offered as a side dish. And it just doesn't have an awful lot of flavor unless you put salt in the water to begin with and then I like to put the Parmesan in for extra flavor. Um, Bubba used to eat his grits sometimes sweet 
kind of like a cream of wheat cereal. Only basically it's cream of corn is what grits would be. I like mine savory. So Parmesan is the way to go for me. I can handle my oatmeal sweet or kind of sweet and savory combined if you put like molasses or something in it. But anyhow, I've been talking for a couple minutes probably. There you go. See how we're th we've thickened up really good. Now we're going to stir in all those nummy num grits. Oh my goodness. I know it's just quick grits, but you know, you can make it custom. You can make it nummy. You can make it a meal. Alrighty, I'm going to bowl it up and I'll be back. So as I've said, I think most people are either grits lovers or grits haters. And obviously, because I'm making this video in my kitchen, I'm a grits lover. To me, this is the perfect way for my palate to fix and serve grits. I put salt in the water. I used a little more grits than the can called for and cooked it up until it was nice and thick. And then I put in some Parmesan cheese, I'm guessing probably a tablespoonful. And after I put it in the bowl, then I put a teaspoon of butter on top. I'm going to take this in the other room. I'm going to stir that butter throughout the bowl, and that will be my lunch today. I hope that if you enjoy this, if you find any value in it at all, you may share it with people on your other social media. And I do pray that the good Lord, who blesses me each and every day of my life, blesses you as well, today and always. Amen.